Jari, hello. It's the beginning of December 2021, and this is a review of the Soundcore Life A1. Uh, I will say it's a positive and enthusiastic review also. So let's get done with the unboxing. Um, it's a slightly synthetic since I have been using these buds, but I've put them back nice and neatly, so here we go. So this is what you get. You get a, a thin paper box, and uh, that's the back of the box. Notice the IPX7 water resistance, very impressive. In the box, you get some manual, not very useful. You get a lot of wingtips. I'm about to show you how these earphones operate, but these are interchangeable wingtips of different sizes and lots of uh, wingtip ends. So headphones themselves. Now, these are USB-C connectable headphones. That's the lead here which goes to USB type C. And I do find this case a little bit annoying to uh, open, but it's from this side, this, uh, the, the connectors, the power connector on the back. There are the buds. Now the buds are the traditional in-ear buds. And I want to tell you, these buds, for me, fit very, very snugly into the ears. So although there's no noise cancellation on these buds, there is sort of natural um, noise insulation which is that these buds fit very well into the ear canal and will certainly block out a lot of external sounds. Um, okay, so what have we got? We've got these buds, they magnetically sort of put themselves into a case. That's important uh, as an athlete, if you're trying to get these buds out whilst you're slightly moving around or just a pedestrian walking down the street and you're in a hurry. Um, if you have two smaller buds, as you're putting them in, they can just basically fall out and fall onto the ground, which is not what you want. So, 10 out of 10 in terms of the magnetic ability. We've got two sets of buds here. Now, they are, like I say, they are uh, of the stick in rear variety. There's at least 30 hours plus of usage when you use this uh, case, which has a battery, and over eight hours continuous play uh, just from one recharge. Now these buds are interesting to me because as an athlete, um, if you're in cold weather, you're often using gloves. And if you're using gloves, even if the gloves have got a, a symbol which sort of says, uh, I, can, I can be registered on a touchpad or an earphone, it often doesn't work or doesn't work reliably. These gloves have got a physical button, both on the right and on the left. Now, another good thing about these buds for sporting use is you can use them one at a time. So if you're going out for a club run and you want a bit of music in the background because when you lag behind, you want to have the music on, uh, but when you're up and close with other people, you want, to, you want to have a chat, this would be perfect because you use them in mono mode or both together in stereo mode. Obviously, they've got microphones, a microphone each. The manual says that the right hand bird is the master microphone but you can just change that by using the left only. Okay, what else have we got? We do not have an app for these buds. So unlike some of the fancier anchor um, head over the ear headphones and in-ear headphones, these are appless. So you're quote stuck with the three equalization settings that are on the bud themselves. Now that brings me on to the next point, which is, um, these buds, as opposed to the other buds I reviewed earlier from Anchor, which were the P2s, have an understandable, to me, set of button presses. So, for example, you can reduce and increase the volume of the sound, and you can also stop and start the bud. And to me, the, the button presses, which are not programmable, are understandable. Um, to me, it's a bit annoying that the start and stop is a double tap because a single tap will increase the sound and a single tap on the left will decrease the sound. Obviously, you need to have both buds in whilst you're running around to, uh, to make use of this feature. But you need to use a double tap to start and stop. And since a start and stop is by far the most useful and most used button press, I would have preferred that as a single tap. Anyway, it is what it is. You can't program the buttons. I found these buttons have these buds have absolutely excellent sound quality. I didn't need to fiddle around with the many other um, 
accessories here, they fit it straight away. The music is, I would say, absolutely exceptional. Um, I'm going to show you the connection on a Xiaomi phone. So, there is a set of button presses that apparently rotates through three equalization settings, but believe me, I really couldn't tell. So what I would suggest, if you have a decent to Android phone, you probably will have a graphic equalizer. So I'm gonna show you what's available on the, on the Xiaomi um, phone. So this is a standard Xiaomi phone running Android 11, not 12, unfortunately, yet. This is the standard graphic equalizer that would come with a Xiaomi phone. And you can see, you can choose so many different settings here and you can even go to custom and you can manually change the, uh, the, the base setting, for example. So to me, I wouldn't use the inbuilt equalization settings that come with the headphones because I really didn't think that they made much of a difference. However, just use a standard Android app that you might need to install. Or if you've got a reasonably decent Android phone, you'll have a graphic equalization as part of the operating system. Um, I think that's it, really. They are only about £40. So to be honest, these are... I wouldn't say a throwaway pair of headphones, but you're not paying top dollar. So just to remind everyone, if you buy Apple AirPods, they're sitting at around the £150 mark. If you buy Apple AirPods Pro, I think they're, let's say, £250. These are £40. £40 from Amazon. So if you buy them from Amazon, you've got a month to return them, should you not find the fit to your satisfaction or the music to your satisfaction. But to be quite honest, I have found them absolutely superb. The only thing that annoys me with these earphones is the following. It blinks every five seconds. So if you're going around with a friend or you're sitting in a lecture and you're listening with one bud and someone says, what are you doing? They might be saying, what are you doing? Because they can see you've got an earbud in and it's flashing every five seconds. To me, if it wasn't flashing, you'd have a perfectly good set of earbuds, which would be discreet in all circumstances. But to me, the flashing is a bit on the annoying side. Now, during the cold winter weather, I'll be wearing a hat when I'm outside. So that would alleviate the problem. But generally speaking, it is pretty damn annoying to have a flashing uh, symbol. So here we are, we're putting the buds back in the case. The case has got some LEDs, by the way, so you can... Um, so you can see the battery, battery condition of the case. Um, and there's some three LEDs in the front here. As you can see, the case is fully charged. And that's it. That's the Anker A1 Buds. They're called the Life A1 Buds. They're about £40 from Amazon. Absolutely great earbuds. Thanks for watching.